Hi, this is Kanan here. So this video we will see about the .NX authentication between the clients and the AP. So how the the packets will flow from the clients to the APs from APs to the clients. So here I have made a successful authentication .NX authentication between the clients and the AP. So you see here the probe response from the AP to the client. Then the open authentication happens. Then the association request from the client. Then the association response from the AP. Then the e st authentication started. So the AP request for this identity request. Then the identity response is given by the client here. So when you click here, you see the identity request here. Then the response given by the AP here. So here they choose e PEEP authentication, protected credential by authentication protocol. So the certificate for EEP TLS, that is the outer tunnel, it happens. So outer tunnel we are choosing as the EEP TLS. So EEP TLS is the happening here. So when you click here, you will see the transport layer security here, EEP TLS. Then the handshake between the clients and the AP happens here. So the client and the AP, the authenticator and the authentication server. So authentication server and this uh, client should support the whichever they prefer this EAP authentication. So both uh, of them should support that whichever the protocol they have chosen for the authentication here. So they have preferred here EAP authentication inside the tunnel. So out tunnel they have, uh, it's a EAP TLS. So they if TLS, the certificate of the authentication server is sent to the client here. So once the uh, client accepts the certificate, then the EAP success sent from the AP to the client. So the EAP success is uh, uh, the authentication is the Controller here, the supplicant is the client. For the dot on authentication, we need to have this supplicant, authenticator, and authentication server. So in my case, it's a, a controller here, authenticator. So authentication server is, is my I server. So your client is my Samsung client here. So the inside the outer tunnel, EFTLS happens. So So after you see the success here, then after the authentication goes through success, then the four-way handshake happens here. So you see the EOPL packets here, protocol. So it yes, as a four-way handshake will happen after that uh, EAP success here. The EAP uh, four-way handshake will not happen until that the EAP success. EP success. So the AP to the client, that's like AP has sent this uh, uh, four way handshake is started for the message one, the message three also sent. Then then finally from the client to the AP also happened. So there are a lot of details in this uh, EOPL packets here. So I will just go through the outer details here. So we will cover in a separate video about this in uh, what are this uh, uh, this uh, PTK and GTK that the uh, keys are installed here during this uh, four-way handshake here. The keys are all uh, shared between the uh, client and the. AP here. 
so that details uh, i will cover in a separate video here so once the eopl the four way handshake has happened uh, after that the client is able to uh, send the data to the for the wireless network so this is how this eap authentication will work wireless from the client to the eps here so here you did preferred a ppo the certificates are exchanged inside that that a uh, uh, username password is sent through the inner tunnel uh, so the anybody if, if anybody captures these frames also they will not able to uh, get the key of this uh, able to get the details so anybody sniff this over the wirelessly so they will not able to uh, capture the they will not be able to capture the username password uh, the client has used so this is a very secure mechanism to protect your wireless network Thanks for watching.